How do? Andy. So I've done a couple of videos with Andy. We did one on SSRIs, modern antidepressants. We did one on steroids. There's a lot of questions from them two videos. We are gonna do a question and answer when we've done this video, yeah, on all three. So it'll be about drugs in general. This one today, we're doing about PEDS, performance enhancing drugs, yeah. Those of you haven't seen this guy before, <laughs> Right, not only can he talk for Britain, yeah, his knowledge is extensive, yeah, we're not doctors, we're not saying take these, we're not saying don't take these, this is for information, I'm putting it under Mental Health Monday because, you know, there, there's a lot of involved with psychological stuff, sports now, you know, England rugby team, they all have psychologists and things, so it is to do with your mental health, um, and the steroids, bodybuilding, yeah, and your antidepressants and that. So that's why I'm putting all three of these little videos on drugs onto Men Mental Health Monday. Yeah. The reason he's sat back a bit, he's six foot seven and mm -hmm. uh, weighs a bit more than me. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're back on the phone. Um, all good. So today, we're just going to cover two things. We're going to cover uh, weight loss medication. Is that right? Yeah. And growth hormone mm -hmm. both of which i know nothing about so I'll, I'll try and keep him in check that's not because i'm a controlling person it's because you know i'll still be here like tomorrow if i don't <laughs> andy do you want to start with peds or growth hormone so when 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 you've got peds it's it's that's the category that covers them all like, that, uh, and now that category is performance enhancing and they've now extended that to image enhancing as well, drugs. So that, that that's the like overarching... So image, making kind of, you look better? Yeah. Performance. Cosmetic, like uh, drugs that would be used for a cosmetic purpose. All oh, right, yeah. Um, and that, that would be their only function um, to provide a... Yeah. A distinct cosmetic um, benefit. some benefit yeah at a um, certain time can them drugs be prescribed by a GP general practitioner a doctor um, they would certain ones could be but are you cool enough it's quite cool isn't it I'm fine me I'm just going to start motor and shut windows cut out a bit of traffic no it's um They could be, but it'd be for a different condition. Yeah. Sounds about that, guys. Crack on. So, right, okay. So, for example, diuretics. Uh, uh, what's a diuretic? So, a diuretic, uh, broadly, um, would be used um, to help the um, body pass more water. urine and water. Yeah. And people use them to get into weight categories. People use them um, to dehydrate themselves before bodybuilding shows. Um, to show better muscularity yeah. and definition. Yeah, but that's um, that's a smaller category, that if you will. So, like when you were saying fat burners, that yep. is what a lot of people, the general public, come into contact with a lot of, in in a lot of. Um, Where would you buy them? Well, it's under the counter sort of thing, or when you're on holiday. So it's the formulations are the not that the so they would be classed as thermogenic, which means that they increase body temperature, yep. which in turn um, increases is, your metabolic rate. Exactly, and they all work. Look at me on that, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That they all work on that mechanism, even though it's more. Each one can work via thyroid, um, central nervous system, whatever. They're so all, they all they all act on different parts. They parts can of the they body. can do generally. You would uh, like different ones would act in different mechanisms of action, um, and act on potentially different receptors. 
um, or in different ways um, that could enable you to lose fat. Right, so question for you. Somebody who wants to lose weight, yeah? Yeah. They're not changing the diet or lifestyle at all. Yeah. Could they purchase PEDS and lose weight? Uh, or do they work in combination with... It, it would be at a risk. So if that person to, were to make that choice to try and use something to lose weight, yep. then they would be risking their health. Um, what what I, should you do when you take them? So it, the 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 you cannot get around the equation of calories in, calories out. So even people think, well, I can get around that by taking X, Y, or Z. Well, all that's doing is increasing calories out. Right. You cannot unbalance that equation. Right. It is physically, like, and I mean in terms of physics, thermodynamics. You, if you can beat that equation somehow, Nobel Prize in physics, you've won it. And you'd be very rich. Oh, yeah, one, uh, probably 1 1.2 million now, I reckon it is. You're not going to beat it. It's impact. Like, if you can prove you can beat calories in, calories out, it, it, it's second law of thermodynamics. It can't be disproven yet. So let's let's talk about Joe Joe Public, not not athletes or anything like that. Benefits. So Joe Public, let's say a lad or lass, right? They decide. Well, let's use me. So I mm. decide, right? I want to lose some weight. I'm not happy with myself. I'm going to try and eat healthier. You know, drink water. I've joined the gym. I'm going to go to the gym. A combination of that and taking peds. If if I were doing that alone. Would taking PEDS help me on that journey or speed that journey up? It would speed it up initially, but if you had a coach or if you had somebody who had your well-being at heart... Oh, I like that. They, they would... I would say to you, right, all right, so let's say you're going to use X, whatever. I would say, right, Sam... Like, it's all about getting the most out of the least no matter how extreme the drug is you want to use at the end yeah. you've got to start with the getting the least out of the most you can't hold on a minute mate I'm just moving my car guys because there's a wagon here that cannot get through because some dick as parallel parked in a no parking space opposite me. How many camera didn't fall over? Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I missed that, Andy. Sorry, what you were saying? I, I, I um, I can't remember. I can't remember. We, we were both there. lost track. We're eight minutes thirty-five in. <laughs> All oh, right, we run about me. Run about somebody who had your your best health. Yeah, so you get you always get the most out of the least, no matter how extreme. So even if let's say they they've got um, a drug that is the most powerful to to justify that use. Yeah, you've already gone into a calorie deficit. Yeah, you've already implemented cardiovascular exercise. Yeah, you've already tried other fat burners before trying the most extreme one on yeah. if you know what i mean yeah. so now for example they set they, they sell different fat burners online and what have you so and some are pharmaceutical preparations so you have thyroid medication so you have t3 and t4 what's your thyroid do your thyroid gland produces T3 and T4 mainly. It, it does other things, but just for this conversation, T3 and T4, um, and T4 converts to T3. T3 is the most active form, and T3 is what stimulates metabolism. Right, so that'll speed 
Is there a danger if you take T4 and T3, like we said, with steroids, your body produces something and it's getting yeah. that from somewhere yeah, else that your body yeah, will yeah. stop. Yeah. So you could yeah. damage your thyroid yeah. by taking T3 and T4. Yeah. Okay. So T3 and T4, so this is a slight difference. T4 is normally given in this country as replacement for uh, hyperthyroidism when it's low. So they give them, T they give them thyroxine, that's, yeah. that's T4. Yeah. And you can give them a reasonable dose because the body knows how much T3 it needs. It can regulate so its metabolic... Will it only Will it only turn T4 yeah, into three? Generally, as much as it needs. So one of my friends, yeah. who, whose thyroid has stopped working, yeah. that's what she'll be on. She'll yeah. be on T4 and her body will regulate that. Yeah. Because when it when it stops producing, it can make you ill, can't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Severely ill. Yeah, yeah. That, it, it, T, T3 controls a metabolic function of cellular activity in every part of the human body if that's not there the, there's got, your hair's what? coming out like oh we're, is it we're talking like you'd know rapidly if you had issues with i mean when it's hypothyroidism so when it's low yeah it's normally you'd be gaining weight you'd feel sluggish um and a lot of people think they've got it and then they've they've not they've it's just normal is it and i know there is a test is it a fairly simple test you see it is a fairly simple test but i don't think it's so if if you're convinced or, or you think you have it i would you ask your doctor to um have a thyroid panel because what they test is TSH. TSH is thyroid stimulating hormone. Yeah. Now, TSH so should send a message to your thyroid to produce T4. Yeah. That should then convert to T3. Yeah. That then should work. However, sometimes there's a lot of a di a lot difference between the level of TSH yeah. and the level of T3 that's cascaded down. Yeah. So all NHS do as a as a general measure is measure TSH. So if that comes back as normal, they just say right, fine. Can I just say you explain that very simply and very well, without um, <laughs> without <laughs> going in, without going into the big words? Because trust me, that is really interesting. So and T5. That's what we were saying before. Yeah, that's I've talked about to people I've met who were just taking T5. So what's T5? Right. So T3 and T4 are thyroid hormones produced within the body and can be given as pharmaceutical preparations. Yep. Um, to replace the thyroid, or some people may use them to increase their uh, calorie output but yeah so we would say advise caution yeah yeah on taking you will, preparations will like that negative feedback like we uh, mentioned with anabolics it it will cause negative feedback so straight away tsh will know that T3 or T4 is too high and shut off. So, so your body uh, so, is not going to be producing yeah, them naturally. Yeah. Over to T5. Right. So T5 is entirely different. That's a marketed. It was initially marketed as well as T5 because people have got in the mind this idea T3, T4. Well, T5. It's gonna. There is no T5 in medicine. No, I I thought. T T five was a thyroid medication as well. Yeah. I believed it was. Yeah, it's not it's certainly not. So T five is it used to be known as what were called the ECA stack, which were a combination of three things that work synergistically together. So which means that when in when used in combination, the the sum of each one is greater than yeah. each part if yeah so so they, act, they, they actually put them together and it's boom yeah away yeah. you go 
it's ephedrine, caffeine and aspirin. The, the combination of them three drugs were marketed as T5. So is, is aspirin there to thin the blood? No, it's used for a different reason. Right. People, uh, it's for the way that it's complicated. It's okay, way. right. We're not we're not even going to go there with him on this one. Yeah. But the other two are definite. Well, we know the stimulants, aren't they? Um, the stimulants, in a sense, uh, they're not so. They would stimulate the metabolic effect of the body when ingested. They yeah. don't have an initial stimulant. It's not because there's a difference between stimulating metabolic function yeah. and using a, um, a drug which will stimulate the central nervous system. T5 has yeah. ephedrine and caffeine in it, which potently, when you ingest them, your central nervous system is stimulated powerfully right t3 and t4 you won't know you've took it right you won't know you've took it unless you took uh, and uh, eventually you might feel your heart racing you might feel that you're sweating a lot you might feel the signs of having hyperthyroidism which yep. is having it too high yeah so you, you that's essentially what you're giving yourself hyper too high hypo too low. low yeah uh, uh, it's ridiculous isn't it you think no no I'm, I'm learning so let me ask you i've i've told you this somebody who was given t5 by somebody and told if they took that they'd lose weight yeah. and when i saw them they weren't aware of it they were in fact whizzing oh they, they were... were they were uh they were off the nut you know they were they were almost manic, mm, mm. talking, nine nine words. Yeah, boom. yeah, 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 yeah. So ephedrine is, it, um, it used to be, it's similar to amphetamine. There you go. It's different. Yeah. It doesn't create such dependence and such tolerance as amphetamine sulfate that we know as a class b drug yeah however to an over a uh, uh, an overweight 50 year old woman yeah. if she's given them and she's she's like naive in the sense to her body is naive to that drug yeah it is gonna be she she's not gonna realize she's gonna be like first time you've had a drink and you're like oh, I've, i'm fine i'm I'm fine. That's what she would have been like then. I, I, like, I can't, I can't feel anything. So let me ask you a question then on caffeine, which is in it as well, yeah. Yeah. Or a good while of bite. I felt really rough for a couple of days, yeah. Mm. Uh, didn't eat a lot. Didn't drink a lot. Bit of water. The next day, well, I started about tea time. The next day, I had horrendous headaches and that. The yeah. missus says, have you had any coffee? Because mm. I, I don't drink a massive amount, but yeah. I have three strong cups in the morning. Mm. I had a cup of coffee, and guess what? The headaches went. Yeah. So can your body get dependent on them? Uh, yeah. It, it can caffeine probably more than it can ephedrine. Really? Um, but it can ephedrine as well. Um, but like you said, caffeine, um, I, I went to a neurologist... Um, when I was younger. Is he like and, a brain specialist? Uh, yeah, because I had severe migraines when yep. I was a child. Yeah. Um, and he's and he said um said to my mum, give your son um some coffee, which obviously like ten. You Really? You, yeah, 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 honest to God. And he explained to my mum that if you if you give him a cup of coffee and whatever, a small amount is what's known as um vasodilating so it means that it's the blood cells uh, the blood cells the um the blood centers so veins arteries capillaries yeah. open wider with greater consumption it's constrictive right um so that's why in in moderation it can leave you uh, migraines or whatever uh, well, caffeine can. So yeah. Um, so 
let's go back to this 50 year old lady. Is, is taking T5 gonna help her lose weight? I, or I, anybody? I, I hate to, I, I hate to put people in a category of who should have the right to and to not take weight because it's entirely up to that individual. Yeah, of course what it's about choose choices, isn't it? To, yeah. yeah. And yeah, exactly. And that's an absolutely ridiculous choice, in my opinion. Like it, these, you'd make so many more other choices before that. So a fifty-year-old woman would be better off going for half an hour's brisk walk every day, yeah, rather than trying to take T five to lose yeah. weight. Yeah, yeah. Because right, let's say she takes that T five, right? Yeah, that might increase her metabolism by, right? I, I think when they did a combination of other central nervous system stimulants yep. and thyroid hormones, I think the maximum increase they could get on metabolic rate was 10%. So if your daily allowance as a woman is 2,000 calories, calories yep. that's only 200 extra, but T5 is nowhere near 10% effective. So we're not even talking 200 calories. And what, what we're do talking they say? 50. We're to talking lose a couple of pound a week, you'd have to drop 500 3, calories a day or something. 3,500 calories is equivalent, roughly, to one pound of fat. That's where there then becomes a difference between so, is the weight lost, right. fat, is it? So caffeine and effigen also have a diuretic effect, even though they're not classed as diuretics so you lose water so you lose water weight so and you could believe that you were losing weight yeah, and yeah. actually becoming dehydrated yeah there's there's a lot of things at play and who would yeah. take it then so and maybe get some benefit or it, it'd be somebody it'd be somebody who they they've already reduced the calories uh they've implemented cardiovascular exercise yeah and they've they've got no energy they've got a, they've got a lot of low energy a lot yeah. of bodybuilders show it use it in the run-up to shows so when, when they are dehydrated when they're in calorie deficit when they're in calorie deficits yeah. not when they're dehydrated that'd be really close right but let's say uh, six weeks before or yeah 12 weeks before they would be in a position where they like to get more calories out they they would have to remove more food now removing more food you lose means your energy. you lose your energy but they also realize that if i'm going to reduce food further yeah then i'm going to be reducing things like protein and whatever which is muscle sparing yeah so then this is when it comes into a uh, a combination of like what what is that drug actually gonna do when it increases my metabolic rate yeah is it gonna burn preferentially fat which is what you want so you look which shredded is you want, which is what you want yeah and not lean muscle tissue and then it and then it be wasted and this is why it's difficult and that drugs are normally used at specific times like pre-contest or powerful stimulants like ephedrine are just used pre-workout for power lifters just to give them like a yeah, bit of a boost yeah yeah but we're know, talking about people here who are like lifting world records yeah or like yeah we're training, talking about athletes yeah, aren't we professional you, athletes you know, they're not taking it to lose weight. They're you're taking willing it. to you're willing to drop. You're willing. You're taking it, knowing what it's going to do, yeah. and you you fully know you fully know what it is. Like they say, if uh, they did that study with uh, Olympic uh, athletes, and yeah. if they could win a gold with and die within 10 years, would they take that risk? And they all I think said, yeah. Most of them pretty much said, yeah. Ephedrine, like. That's well down list, as in, so, yeah. Do you know what? I found that really interesting, Andy. We're not going to do human growth hormone now. I'm going to stop this, and then we're going to do it as another video. Because that, that, you know, you did yeah, well yeah, then. No yeah. big words. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, final word? Yeah, keep it up. I'll see there.